is that they're on the tour and they're playing as individuals and you don't get that amount of individual support and I think to be playing in the Fed Cup and to feel what it's like you, you're not just battling your opponent you're battling the crowd as well so it's a real kind of mental challenge and, and I think uh, Bally rose to it really well but it, it really suits her she, she likes that kind of gladiatorial contest and she, she did incredibly well yeah, and your thoughts on it as well, Elena. I mean, there's really crowds with very loud towards in that first set. Yeah, I've experienced that before in other Fed Cups, um, so as Anne as well. So I think just with experience, you learn how to deal with that. And, um, you know, like Judy said, I enjoy that. I think we were in our element as cheerleaders, so it was so it worked out. Yeah, because the support, okay, it wasn't as loud as obviously the Israelis, but, you know, it was these two made it. It was quality support. Yeah. The owl call was. Quite good or whatever it was. Thank you. <laughs> Would you like to demonstrate it? <laughs> I'm going to mess it up now. <laughs> it's very special. It is. It's special as well. <laughs> I thought it was a exactly. <laughs> I would like to ask Heather and Laura about your match, doubles match yesterday about, uh, against the Dutch. Very tough one, very important one. How was it like for you? Um, it was a very tough one and a, a crucial one for us as a team. And I think we, we rose to the occasion and played very well um, together. We just fought the whole way through. Laura, your impressions of your first Fed Cup enjoying it, obviously. Um, you know, maybe a little bit too much. Um, but I think we've all played really well and you know, I'm so proud of the rest of the team. Especially Anne and Bally today, they played really, really well in their singles and now we're just looking forward to tomorrow because we want to be up in that world. What's your tomorrow, Judy? I mean, did you, I mean, you're able to scout your opponents in this group. But what about them? Have you had any chance to do that at all? We've not seen so much of them, but I think uh, Anne and Bally know both of their singles players quite well from the tour, so we'll get our heads together tonight and tomorrow morning and come up with a, with a plan. I watched them playing doubles today against the Bulgarians, so we've got a little idea for our muchachas over there uh, for tomorrow, so um, yeah, we, we'll be ready. I think it's unfortunate with the way the schedule works that they've had what, a half day rest now today and a few hours before tomorrow. How are you for that? another late finish tonight? We'll be fine. <laughs> One question about Andy. Do you think that you will be number one in the world? <laughs> I'm always getting asked that. I have no idea. Um, all I know is that he's working very hard. Uh, he's doing his best. Uh, obviously, he has beaten the other guys as they have beaten him. And um, it's a very, very strong era in men's tennis at the moment. I mean, it really couldn't be stronger. Um, he's just started working with a new coach, in Ivan Lendl, and that seems to have gone very well, but it's early days and uh, be interesting to see where he is in six months' time. Question for Anne. You're playing Fed Cup since 2001, right? And it's always in Group 2 and Group 1, so I want to ask you about the system of the groups. It's very tough, very very tough to get to, to qualify to the playoffs from this system of groups. So, how is it from your perspective as a player? Um, yeah, I think this group in particular is notoriously tough. Um, you know, out of 15 teams here, only two go up. Um, and we found it incredibly difficult, although we have come close um, on two occasions. We've made uh, the playoffs, um, the last time being uh, just a few years ago. Um, and it came down to the de uh, deciding doubles against Poland, which I remember uh, still pretty clearly. Um, but you know, this year is another year, and um, we're close again. And um, I've got every bit of belief that this time we can do it. Um, we've got a strong team, and um, why not? Judy, do you think the, uh, the, the team as a whole is greater than the sum of its parts? In other words, because you've got a pretty balanced team. Are you able to produce more out of yourselves as a team than you would uh, if you had one very good player and other players who are maybe not so good? I, I mean, I think the fact that you have to play four days in a row, uh, it's great to have strength and depth. Um, 
But I, I think the whole thing with the Fed Cup is that it, if you want to have a chance to win the whole thing, to do really well in it, you probably need to have in your squad a top 10 player and at least one double specialist. I, I mean the whole thing. We're very, very fortunate with what we've got. We have a very exciting team to, you know, to, to build on. And our goal is to get out of this group. And uh, that's what we're aiming for tomorrow. Thank you very much. Thank you. Good luck tomorrow. Thank you. Bye, guys. Bye-bye. <coughs> I just want to do one.